Hi, this is Suzanne Williams with Essential Oils, Health Matters, and Living the Wholesome Life. Now we are on week 16, day 3 of our positive, peaceful um, affirmations that we are doing every day, Monday through Friday. We are following Dr. Susan Lawton's book, The Positive, Peaceful mm -hmm. Growth Calendar, that you can buy at Aroma Tools or Oil Right Life. It's one of my favorite books on how to pair using essential oils emotionally with music therapy. Um, and affirmations. So if you don't have it yet, I highly suggest buying it. So the affirmation for this week, well, first of all, Happy New Year! Like, Happy 2020! Um, my motto for 2020 is perfect vision. We are going to try to have perfect vision, and we're going to forgive ourselves when we don't, and go on to even greater vision in 2020. So, um... The affirmation for this week is, I am telling my story in a new way, which I love. Whatever we've said about ourselves in the past, it's past. We're done with putting ourselves down. We're done with just remembering and um, ruminating on the bad things that we've done. We're going to repent. We're going to make amends. And we're going to forgive ourselves and forgive other people. Um, we're going to see our stories as leading us to something good, leading us to be wiser, leading us to be better people. No matter how many times we failed in the past, we are learning from it, even if it's incrementally and we are getting better. So, um, I love it. We are telling our stories in a new way. As you're thinking about your New Year's resolutions, let's just spend a little bit of time thinking about how have I told my story in my past that didn't really serve me, and how can I tell this, my story this year that will serve me better? Okay, so that's the affirmation for this week. And the affirmation for today is, I am seeing me successful in achieving my goals, which I love. Like. As we're spending the time doing our setting our New Year's resolutions, let's spend the time to maybe choose music for each of these things that we're trying to do, or maybe just music for the year um, on who we want to be, what goals we want to achieve, and then let's let's um, see ourselves there. If we want to take a trip to Europe, maybe we want to put on some polka music, right? Oh my goodness. I know polka music gets made fun of all the time, but it is such a happy, happy, uplifting music. Um, if you see yourself, um, I don't know, maybe you see yourself at a being more healthy. What, what song do you see pairing with that? What, maybe you see yourself more financially successful. What song do you pair with that? Um, but whatever, and so I think songs can help us remind us of our goals and remind us that we can achieve them. And then, um, and let's just take the time to, to sit and I'm even say fantasize on what will it be like? What will we feel like when we've conquered that? Whether it's, um, something we're trying to stop, something we're trying to start, some goal when we've climbed that mountain when we when we've learned that habit whatever it is that you're trying to do what what's it going to feel like and and let's just sit there and fantasize a little bit as we're as we're making these things on how is my life going to be different how is my life going to be happier when i have reached this this goal um I think that we, I, I'm, I'm not a big sports person, but I think we can learn a lot from sports in, in the, they tell, they tell us all that, um, you need to see yourself, um, sinking the putt. You need to see yourself connecting with the ball if you're in baseball, or you need to see yourself just the swish you need to, in your, in your mind, you just need to hear the swish of the basket as you're shooting. We need to see ourselves. Um, we need to see ourselves successful. And, um, 
So on that, I want to talk a little bit about tenacity when it comes to um, achieving our goals. Because in anything, in anything that you're trying to do that's worthwhile, I guarantee you're going to come up against some roadblocks. You're going to have some setbacks. You're going to have times when you're trying to do something and you just don't do it with a lot of grace. Like it feels super awkward or you even have some monumental, we all have some monumental fails. And when we have those just, just um, laughable, you know, just because they're so, so horrible fails, right? Um, we need to know, we, can, we need to keep that vision that whatever goal we are trying to achieve is achievable. And one of the things, one of my um, suggestions to all of us on maybe realizing that a fail doesn't need to be permanent, that we can fail our way to success. I love, love, love that concept that we can fail our way to success, you know? And anyway, so maybe one of the things that we can do to remind ourselves that failure is just a, a stepping stone. It's not, you know, the, the wall that you can't go around or get over or climb under. It's not. Failure isn't that. So um, one of the things that I would suggest is us picking up a book at on wherever your favorite place to shop for books are, is, or if you're like me, going to the library. I love free books. And um, just getting a book on, on people, on uh, there's, there's whole books written on people who've failed their way to success. Like all of the failures that people have, like Abraham Lincoln, like he almost failed every single election for the longest time. And, um, you know, Louisa May Alcott was told that she was not a writer. She couldn't write. And, um, and Thomas Edison was told that he was addled in the mind, right? Which means that he was not all there. And he was a brilliant inventor. And all of our lives today are blessed with the intelligence and the tenacity of of Thomas Edison. And Thomas Edison himself said that um, genius is 1% inspiration, 99% hard work. So as we reach the setbacks, let's not lose the vision that we can achieve the goal, right? So as we're setting the goals, Let's just spend a few moments, a few minutes, whatever time you want to spend on visualizing ourselves reaching the goal. Because I am capable and you are capable. And I can do hard things and I just want to call you hun. I don't even know who you are. But hun, you can do hard things. You can do hard things together. We can do hard things. And I love, like, as we're coming off of what we said um, yesterday about the Revolutionary War and that we don't fight our battles for ourselves, right? We, we definitely aren't capable of everything, but with God, we can do all things. Someone can quote me that scripture somewhere. Anyway, so let's, let's see ourselves achieving our dreams, dreams. Let's not be afraid of the failures. Let's not be afraid of the setbacks. We don't have to let them be a stop for us. We are stronger than that. We are better than that. We're smarter than that. We don't need to get stopped by setbacks. And then let's celebrate our tries. Let's, let's honestly applaud our tries. We don't just need to wait till we have the successes. Let's applaud, oh my gracious, I tried really hard today. And yeah, it was a monumental flop. Some of the things I tried, but I still tried. I still tried. I still spoke from my heart. I still was authentic. I still, I don't know. Whatever it is that you're trying to do, applaud your tries. Again, um, we have spoken in a different video on, on loving ourselves um, awake and asleep. Let's, as we're, as we're waking up, let's think of how awesome we are and how wonderful we're trying and our successes. And as we're going to sleep, let's think about how wonderful we are and 
and how hard we're trying and our successes. And I know that some, to some of you might say, oh, well, that sounds like you're going to be totally full of yourself and, and um, you know, totally stuck up or conceited, but actually it doesn't have that effect at all. When you are loving on yourself, you are you have so much more in your heart and in your soul to give to other people. When you are loving yourself and, and praising yourself, you can love and praise other people. It's only when you're when you're insecure about who you are that you feel the need to be um, conceited or to withhold praise from other people. Okay, so really love on let's love on ourselves. Let's love on ourselves so that we can love ourselves and love other people. Okay, so um, I am seeing myself, I am seeing me successful in achieving my goals is the affirmation for the day. And the song that I'm pairing with that, it's one of my favorite songs. I know I've talked about it before, but it's um, I Was Made For This by Carlton. Like, you got this. Whether you're a girl, you got this girl. Whether you're a guy, you got this guy. You got this. We can. It doesn't matter how many times we failed. We're not even. We're gonna. We're gonna applaud the try for how many times we failed, and we're gonna applaud that we're still trying. Okay. And 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 this year we are gonna succeed in so many things. And yes, we're gonna fail in some of those, and we're gonna applaud the try on that one too. Okay. So, but we're gonna see ourselves being successful in achieving our dreams. Okay, so I've talked about the affirmation. I've talked about the music that we're pairing with it. And so the next section is talking about the um, the diffuser blend that we're diffusing this week and one of the oils in it. So the diffuser blend that we're diffusing this week is two drops of vetiver, which is the oil of centering and descent. And I don't like descent. What, does, what in the world does that mean, right? So I'm just going to say it's the oil of centering and getting to the bottom of things. Like vetiver, the oil of centering you and getting to the bottom of things. Okay, and then lavender, the oil of communication and calm. And lime, the oil of zest for life. You're gonna love, love, love this diffuser blend as you're going into the new year. And um, today, yesterday we talked about the emotional benefits of vetiver. This year, Today, we are talking about, and I guess it is a new year, but anyway, we are talking about the emotional benefits of lavender, and I have done some shout outs on this in the past, but I wanted to give, a, it's obviously the oil that we're diffusing, so I, it's time for another shout out on it. Okay, so, lavender. Uh, when you think of aromatherapy, the first, very first oil that most people think of is lavender. Um, it's super calming, it's super soothing, if you're having a hard time getting to sleep, you know, rub it on your chest area, but sprinkle a few drops or spray a few drops onto your pillow, um, rub it on your feet, and you're going to love the way it helps you just relax into sleep. Um, it is very stimulating to the parasympathetic system, which means in the parasympathetic system, system is your rest and digest system. So when it says it's stimulating to that system, it means it's gonna help you rest. It's gonna help you relax. Um, it helps people to be able to calm down. Now we all know that when we're, when we're feeling um, agitated or attacked or um, frustrated, that we very easily can go from our prefrontal cortex where we are thinking things rationally and making really good decisions to going to like our more kind of animal brain. And although I don't really like that term, there's probably a better term for that. Someone shoot me the term on that. But like the, the other part of your brain, which is not your prefrontal cortex, which, which is where we're like panicking and we are like making super bad decisions and we are right away or we're fighting when really neither one of those responses is called for. Okay, I guess it used to be it used to be a flight or fight. Now it's flight freeze or flight. Sometimes we're just like, ah, like deer in the headlights. What do we do? So, um, but it can help with relaxing that. So it can help us stay in our thinking brain. If you're dealing with tough situations and you need to be more in your thinking brain, um, lavender, it's going to be
be one of your best friends. In fact, I want us just to start thinking of lavender as grandma. Like, right, grandma? Grandma's got it. Grandma loves us. Grandma comforts us. Grandma supports us. Gra like, grandma, honestly, like, grandma can handle anything, right? <laughs> um, so, and obviously, no. Grandmas can't handle anything. I'm a grandma. Can I handle everything? No. But, like, we tend to think of grandmas that way. Okay, um, lavender helps us let go of fears. <sighs> Who doesn't have some fears in life, right? Wouldn't it, wouldn't it be just peaceful to release them? Just thinking about releasing fears makes me peaceful. Oh, I can feel my heart start beating slower. I can feel my body relaxing as I'm thinking about releasing fears. And God has said that we don't need to fear. So things that can help us release and relax our fears are good. And lavender can help. It can help us release our insecurities. Um, and sometimes having fear and having security can get in the way of communication. Now this is why lavender is called the oil of communication. Because if you're anxious, you're not <laughs> communicating probably very well. Um, if you're fearful, you're not communicating. If you're agitated, you're angry, you're super sad maybe, you're probably not communicating very well. Lavender is going to help calm all that. It's going to help you feel comforted. It's going to help you feel loved. Remember, let's just think of that complete grandma image, okay? Um, and it can help us tell our truths more authentically and come from leading from a place of love and on the receiving end it can help us when other people are maybe having some hard conversations with us it can help us know that they're leading from a place of love a place of trust if they're telling us something that they think maybe we should be improving that they they wouldn't be telling it to us if they didn't have faith that we could that we could up level that we could meet what they're trying to ask us to do so um it can help with vulnerability it can help it can help ease tensions um it can help just make better communication all around um getting rid of some of the defensiveness okay lavender if you've just had a bad day just Oh, what a day I had, like, right? I'm reminded of the book Alexander and the horrible, the terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. Poor Alexander. Everything happens to him. It's just a horrible day. And sometimes I have those days. And my best guess is sometimes you have those terrible, horrible, no good, very bad days too. Lavender. Mmm. Lavender coming to their rescue on that. Whether you're gonna put five drops in like a quarter cup of Epsom salts, put it in a warm bath and soak your cares away. Whether you're gonna put it in your diffuser, whether you're just gonna, you know, go to bed and love on yourself as you go to bed and say, you know what, I'm a good person and do the Scarlett O'Hara thing, tomorrow will be a better day. Tomorrow will be a better day. Sometimes we just have to tell ourselves that tomorrow it will be a better day. The Annie song, the sun will come up tomorrow. And I swear, every dark day ends, every every problem passes. It does. Okay, so um, lavender, other things, other gifts lavender gives us. It can help us let go of trauma and abuse, right? Can calm us down it can help us think of things in a new way it can help us be ready sometimes we hold on to that trauma we hold on to the abuse because we're so afraid if we let it go it'll happen again we don't need to be afraid about that we can let it go and and still have the and still make keep the wisdom to keep some of that from happening again we can keep the wisdom. We can let go of the pain. The pain isn't serving us. The pain is not serving us. We can. It's okay. We can let go of the pain. And we can keep the wisdom. They're not one and the same, okay? And um, 
They also call it lavender and an oil that can help with abundance. Now, I'm gonna kind of tell you my thought, my theory on why it can help with abundance. Because sometimes, when it comes to money, we have a lot of um, beliefs that don't serve us. And I'll, I'm gonna give you some. And I'm not saying that you have this belief or that I have this belief, but these are very, very common beliefs that I'm sure I've had some of them and maybe you have some of them too. So some of us think, oh, I'm not worth more money right? I don't have the education to ask for more money. I don't have the experience. I'm not worth more money. I'm, I'm kind of in the job that I'm worth. And so maybe we can, I don't know, how, how is that belief serving us, right? We can, we can say, you know what? I'm, I have the potential to learn great things. I'm super good at what I do and I'm worth more. Okay. So it can calm our fears about not being worth making, having more money. Okay. Or maybe we've done things that are sinful in the past and we're like, yeah, I, I'm not worth having it being rich now. I'm not worth having money now. And that doesn't serve anyone. Let it go. If you've sinned in the past, repent, make all the restitution you can, and then let it go. Um, okay. Some people might have the fear that, oh no, if I'm rich, I, I might do stupid things. I might do bad things with my money, right? You know what? I don't think riches are going to change you. If you're a good person right now, you're going to be a good person with money. I think that's a fear that we can let go of, okay? Um, anyway, um, there's a ton of, maybe you think if I'm, if I have a lot of money, I'm going to turn into the selfish person. You know, whatever, whatever your fears are, and there's whole systems that help you get over your fear. One of my favorite is um, Carol Tuttle's system that helps you get over um, kind of money thoughts that aren't serving you. Anyway, but lavender, it can calm those fears. It can help you release them. And it can help a lot more abundance flow into your life because of that. It can help you decide, you know what, pursuing abundance if I, if I make more money, I can help a lot more people. Let's go for it, right? Okay, so lavender, another gift that it can do for us. It can help us relax and see the love that's actually out there and see the beauty that's out there in the world. Lavender, again, relaxing our fears. It can help us see love and the beauty. Okay, so if you're fearful or if you're feeling super restricted, oh my goodness, school is so restricting and my work is so restricting or my life just has so many restrictions on it. I feel, and I could be wrong here, but I feel that a lot of times when we're feeling that, it comes from a space of fear. And, and which, again, we're getting out of our thinking minds and it comes from a place where, um, we lose the ability to see, okay, yeah, we have some restrictions. What, where can we compromise on this? Where can we, where can we collaborate? Where can we get, like the Stephen Covey, where can we get a win-win situation? What needs do you need met, work, you know, boss or school? And what needs do I really need met, right? And how can we collaborate on this? I remember I went to a um, scholarship meeting on how to get your scholarships. And what they were saying is in your junior year, I know you have to write all these essays. Maybe you can go to your English teacher and say, hey, I'm going to be applying for a lot of scholarships. Can I just write, and they're going to require a whole lot of essays. Can I just turn in the essays I'm writing on for my scholarships and you can grade me on those? Like, right? I know we have systems that we have to work on, but we can do a little out of the box thinking and the restrictions that we feel are there. Maybe if we are vulnerable with our needs and we're authentic with what we, where we want to go, maybe those restrictions can, can be in lifted in ways that makes it a win-win situation for us, okay? So all I'm saying is if you're restricted, if you're feeling super restricted in something, put some lavender on, right? Put some lavender on. Get in your thinking brain and say, how can I turn this into a win-win situation? 
because I really do think there's a win for most people in most situations. Okay, so um, another gift, and again, I've kind of this has kind of been mentioned many times, but I just wanted to um, lay it down one more time is that it can help, dramatically help to reduce anxiety. There are so many people that that are hit with or are suffering with anxiety. Um, I think it's a sign of our times. I think it's a sign of the times that we're living in. We're not as connected with family. We're not as connected with church, not as connected with God. Um, a lot of us, right? Um, not as connected with wholesome media. Um, there's just a lot of things happening in our life and it can, each of those can add to our anxiety level. And the gift of lavender is it can dramatically decrease that anxiety. It's amazing. Again, I want you to just think of grandma, grandma on this one. Okay. Um, lavender can help, you know, I'm all about Chinese medicine too, right? Lavender can help in the balancing of the yin yang energies, the the push energy, and the more the more peaceful energy. Maybe the more masculine energy, the more feminine energy. Lavender can help balance those energies. So we're getting the best of both worlds here. Um, I would highly suggest keeping lavender in your first aid kit in your car. Keeping lavender in your home where you know where it is. For times of great catastrophe or shock or accidents, um, again, that's why I would want to keep it in my first aid kit because sometimes, like I remember when I was like 12, 15, whatever, young woman, going through all my first aid training that I went to as I had to go to camp. I had to take my first aid tra training to be able to go to camp. And they were saying that one of the worst things that happens when people get in accidents or major catastrophes happens is they don't die of the accident, they die of the shock. And so you need to really be guarding against shock. You know, the warm blanket, the elevated feet. And what I'm telling you is because lavender is so relaxing on our system, it's a great oil that can help prevent shock, okay? So keep it in your first aid kit. Do I, am I just saying, just do the lavender, don't do everything else? No, you definitely do the warm blanket and the elevated and talking peacefully to them. We're gonna, we're gonna use all the tools in our tool belt, to, tool belts, our toolbox, when it comes to preventing shock, right? Lavender is a great tool to have. And um, people call lavender the Swiss Army knife of oils because it is so good for so many other things. And then I just wanted to leave this section one more. Wanting us to pair lavender, when we think of lavender, let's please think of grandma, right? When I when you think of lavender, we wanna think of an oil that is super supportive and helps, helps us feel super supported. We want, when we think of lavender, we want to think it, that it can give us the gift that there is no doubt that we are loved and that there are other forces that are caring for us and loving on us and supporting us. And lastly, um, that all will be well in the end. Maybe it all isn't well now. Yeah, probably a lot of times all isn't well now, but all will be well in the end. Anyway, those are some of the gifts of lavender. Um, I wanted to read this last section to you. Lavender can help with blocked communication. It can help with fear of rejection. If you're feeling constricted or tense, if you're having racing thoughts. Um, if you tend to be emotionally dishonest or if you're experiencing a lot of emotional dishonesty from other people, oh my gracious, that can be super um, triggering and it can help people really go into a fearful mode when you know when someone's lying to you. Um, if you have a fear of self-disclosure, you have a fear of being unseen, unheard, or unloved, or if you're just generally insecure, lavender can help. It can help bring open communication. It can help bring a sense of calm. It can help us be more expressive of our true selves. It can help with us. It can help us be more honest. Again, it lo lowers the fear level, helping us to speak our truth. Um, it can help us be more self-aware. 
Because sometimes we don't like to look at ourselves because we're like, ah, I don't know if I can fix that. So it can help us realize, yeah, no, it, it's fixable. So we can look at it. So we can be more self-aware. It can help with our peace of mind overall. Okay, so that's lavender. Again, it's one of the oils that we're diffusing this week. We're diffusing two drops of vetiver, which is the oil of centering and getting to the bottom of things. We're um, diffusing two drops of lavender, which is the oil of calm and communication, and two drops of lime, which is the oil of zest for life. The um, affirmation for today is I am seeing me successful in achieving my goals. I am pairing that today with um, Carlton's made for this music. If you if you have a different um, song that you like to pair for it, we'd love to hear about it in the comments. And um, the affirmation for the entire week is I am telling my story in a new way. I know that you are the creator of your story. You might not get to put all the elements into it. I guarantee none of us get to put all the elements in our story, but we create how we respond to them. We are creators. Your, your story is gonna be great. Your story, mm, you're gonna be the hero of your story. Just know it. Okay, I am Suzanne Williams with Essential Oils, Health Matters, Living the Wholesome Life, saying to, I know that you can go and make it a great day.